Hi, it's Vic. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm sharing a stepper card with you. So the stamps I've used today are Hello Bluebird Garden Friends and Hello Bluebird Storybook Friends. And we're going to be using some watercolour today. So this is stamped on Crafter's Companion watercolour card. And I'm also using my Zig Real brush markers for this. And here's a picture of all the colours I used. I'm just going to quickly show you how I coloured the first image. I didn't show all the colouring as it would go on forever. Um, but these are so easy to use. You just put the marker down, add a little bit of water and just start watercolouring. And they're super easy to blend too. I actually find the Zig markers a lot easier to use with watercolouring than actual watercolour paints. So if you're new to card making, give them a go because they're really easy to work with. And once all my images are coloured, I'm going to go ahead and cut them out with my scissors. So this is the stepper card and this was cut on my Silhouette Cameo. But if you're interested, I can show you how to make this in a future card making tutorial. So now I've got some Paper Mill Direct Super Smooth White card and I'm going to go ahead and just add some colour to all the pieces. So I've started with Scattered Straw and I'm just gently in ink blending this onto the paper. And I'm going in quite light handed with this to start with. And I'm also going to be covering the other two little bits of cards and all this will sit on the stepper card. And once all the pieces are ink blended with scattered straw, I'm going to go in with antique linen. And I'm just adding a little bit more pressure at the top and this is giving it a bit more of a darker appearance. So now I'm just moving on to the other two pieces. Again, going in with the lightest colour, making sure it's all ink blended nicely before adding the second colour. And I love just adding colour to plain white cards. It's so fun and it just brightens up your project so much. So if you like making bright colourful cards, then I'd definitely recommend using some Distress Ink or the Distress Ink Oxide. So once those three pieces are all done, I'm going to go and use some Carved Pumpkin Distress Ink and I'm just pushing this down and going to add a little bit of water and with my brush I'm going to just add some little droplets of colour to the card which I love doing. Again, these really brighten up your projects and that paintbrush wasn't working so good so I've switched to a bigger paintbrush and I'm just going to finish off the little droplets and once that's done just place them to the side and we're next going to go and die cut some grass for our stepper card. So I'm using the Hello Bluebird Grassy Knoll die and I'm using the three sets of grass and I'm going to be die cutting them out onto Paper Mill Direct Jade Plain Green cardstock. And I've just added some double sided tape to this part of the cards and I'm placing the die cut grass behind it and then I'm just going to trim off the excess. And then with the other two little bits of cards I've placed the die on top of them and I'm just again trimming off the excess bits of card. So that part of the stepper card is done and now we're going to go ahead and adhere everything down. So I've just used some normal PVA glue for this and I'm covering the whole of the back panels with the PVA glue. You can use double sided tape but I find it easier with the PVA glue just to place it exactly where it needs to go. Once that piece is placed where it needs to be, I'm then going to go and adhere the second part, which will go in the middle bit of the stepper card, and then the last part, which will go on the bit behind that. So again, I'm just going to use some PVA glue for these and adhere them down. So the first part that I adhered down 
on the stepper card as you can see it's starting to come away from the card which is completely normal with PVA glue so what I tend to do is once all the pieces are stuck down I'll then go and place something like a book or something that's quite heavy um, just over the top and what that does is helps everything stick to the card and stay there. And now moving on to the sentiment, I've put the card in my misty and just stuck the stamp inside. And once that's done, I'm going in with all the little pieces that I've watercolored and I'm adhering them down using some foam tape. And if you're gonna make a stepper card, I would just check that when you do put your pieces down, just make sure that there's no foam that maybe peeking up from behind the stamp or where it will then get stuck to the inside part of the stepper card. And these Hello Bluebird images were so sweet and I really enjoyed watercolour in them. They've been really really fun to work with and if you want me to show a more detailed video on watercolouring or making the stepper card just let me know, I'll be more than happy to do that. And once everything's put together and placed down, this is what your stepper card will look like. They're so fun to make and they're just a really nice change from your standard size card. I hope you enjoyed the video today and thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.